now what I want to do is to try to see if we can enable graphic interface so that you have a better programming environment. So in order to do this, you go back first to Google Cloud and you're going to look at the main menu. It's on the lap, upper left corner to networking and you'll see firewall rules and by default Google Cloud only allows a few traffic protocols and uh, secure shell is by default enabled but in order to enable VNC that's the protocol we're going to using we are going to create this VNC network and by default we're not going to try to for example limit this for to a few IPs but you can certainly limit this only to brown IPs only if you're not using trying to use this off campus allow protocols and parts uh, for this we need to enable the TCP ports and as you can see there are some examples here so you need TCP believe is and by default VNC uses TCP um, 5901 to uh, any number um, larger than 01 but I'm not I'm not going to create multiple desktops so I'm going to just choose uh, five so this means the maximum number of desktops you can create of um, is five and let's say create um, source IP range if you want to um, allow any of this IP I would just write 0, 0.000 dash 0 that means any IP ranges we're gonna allow it and that's it install to VNC softwares first we have to get the desktop bong to desktop and if I maybe I type the wrong thing so go to cache search Ubuntu desk desktop yeah indeed we do have a Ubuntu desktop so we're going to go get install and don't be scared about the number of packages you will install and all these are automatic once this is done we are going to uh, install additional software and packages okay once this is installed we're gonna continue to install additional packages apt okay let's go type g install panel okay once these are installed and we're gonna also open the firewall by using you want to firewall UFW allow 5901 
to 5905 over the TCP. See if we can start the VNC server. And for this, I'm going to depth 24 geometry 1 4. Basically, this specifies the size of the window depth is for the color. Now you need to choose a password, and usually at least you should pick a password at least is um, four characters in length. And repeat your password again. One desktop is, and now I want you to do a bit is just to go to dot vnc, look at x dot up, and if you read the code in this file, they will just create a very very basic uh, vnc file. Uh, very basic um, VNC session. Now let's see if we can try to get in onto this VNC platform. In order to do this, you also need VNC client. Okay, now I want you to do some setup in this file. Basically, that the Windows Manager isn't very user friendly, so I want to set up is using the few packages that we just installed. It's called uh, I'm gonna go genome. Okay, no, on this command, and I'm gonna go genome. Beneath is called settings DA -E. We are also going to start genome terminal as well. And let's see. Now we're going to go VNC server Q1. Okay, they essentially create a second. Uh, let's me. Got look at what's the command I should use. Okay, I should do VNC server kill I'll kill the second server and I'm gonna kill the first server. Now we're gonna restart the server again. Okay, once this restarted, now I need to use a running of VNC Reviewer. A VNC Reviewer, and you, know, you need to specify the server address. The server address is what you, the IP number, they call external IP, you can copy and paste. And then you use a column and then specify the port number. And because this is the first desktop, as we you can see, the number here is the first, so you would just use 5901. And all look good. And don't worry about these warnings. And this is the password you use 
to when you first set up the server now as you can see you do have some Windows desktop running and VCR is working now let's try to install additional packages and maybe we need tenacity and now we also in the server file let's start try let's start let's running this packages as well and raw tears and I think let me check okay let's try it again see if this time it works or not once again we kill the server we essentially restart the server again then running your VNC typing your password okay it looks much much better and if you want to need to run additional packages if you need to run additional packages essentially they are all here and let's see if we can get the bra actually we I need the internet Firefox browser this is running a bit slow because we, we only requested um, a small virtual machine